Today we're going to be looking at doing some basic introductory paper weaving. We're going to take our large sheet of paper, a 12 by 18, and fold it in half to start with. We're going to be working with uh, basic shapes, so you can do a fish or a turtle or a heart. It's kind of up to you to pick. I'm going to go with a turtle today. So I'm going to take my white colored pencil. I'm going to start doing his shell. And then I'm going to do his feet and come up here and go around to his other feet and his shell up to here. <clears throat> now, when I cut this, I'm going to have to remember to leave him a head on one side. And on the other side, he's going to have a tail in that same space. Scissors. Scraps out of the way, and then when I open it up, it's kind of long and skinny. He looks the same on both ends, so I need to make this one look more like a tail on this side. And then there's a little point here. There we go, like that. He is kind of a long, skinny turtle, but that's okay. I'm going to fold them back together because for the next part, we have to add the stripes in here that we're going to cut to help with our weaving. Now the easiest way to do this next part is to take a ruler and put it pretty straight on the side of your turtle like this and you're just going to draw a line and then I'm going to measure I'm going to line up this edge of the ruler to that line that I just drew I'm going to draw another line on the other side I'm going to keep moving my ruler and lining it up I have to push with all my fingers to hold it down so it doesn't move when I draw against the edge until I get almost all the way across to here. There we go. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to skip the first lines because they're a little close to the edge. And I'm just going to cut until I get to the top of the line and then I'm going to stop. Two. I'm not going to cut this one and this one because those ones are kind of really close to the edge of my turtle and I don't want him to rip. So then when I open it, you can see I've started making my loom in here where I'm going to be able to weave my strips in and out of my turtle. Now I have my one inch strips that I picked out for my turtle. I picked blues and greens and I'm going to start weaving these into my turtle. You notice they're a lot bigger than my turtle. That's okay. We're going to trim them out after we weave them through so that he has a nice pattern on him. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my handy dandy glue stick and I want to start on the top this way, on the front this time. And so I'm going to put a little stick of glue here because that's at the edge, see that's where my weaving loom spots stop. So I put it right up there by that edge. And I'm gonna take my strip of paper. I'm gonna make sure that it likes to stick down really hard and firm on there. I don't want it to move too much. And when we weave, I started on the top for this one. So now I have to go under my next one and then over, under, over, under. So I end up underneath on the other side. I'm going to make sure it stays pretty straight. Remember they always tapped it down in the video looms that we saw to tap, tap, tap and make it straight and stick on there. And then I'm going to turn him over for the next one because I'm going to start on the back side this time. We keep flipping it over kind of like a pancake each time you change colors. And this time I'm going to do a blue strip on here. I want to make sure it's going to line up but not overlap with my other one. And this time, they have a color here already for green, so I want to go underneath so that the blue shows up on this one where I don't have color. So any place that I have a green one, I'm going to go under to hide it on the blue strip. 
And then I can gently pull. I hold with this end on my thumb so that it doesn't move. There we go. And then I flip it back over to do a green one on this side. And this is going to take a little bit of practice. Weaving isn't one of those things that's really easy to do. It just takes some extra practice. So I already have color on this one, right, from the blue. So that means I want to go underneath with my green. This one doesn't have color, so I leave it on top. This one has a blue, so I have to go underneath and underneath. We're switching back and forth every other strip of paper when we're weaving. And so now I'm going to switch to blue, which means I flip them over to the blue sticky side. And this is where the next one's going to go, so I put a little dab of glue. Kind of line these up with each other, make sure these line up straight across before I really stick it, stick it. And then it needs color here, but I already have green, so I'm going to skip that one, hide it underneath. I need color here, so I'm going to leave it, but I already have a color here, so I have to skip that one. Hide my blue underneath, leave a color, and skip. There we go. I finished blue, so now I have to pancake turn. Flip it over. Green. And I'm not speeding this part of the film up because I want you guys to really see how this works. So I stick it down really tight. I already have a color, which means I have to skip it. I have to hide it. So. I'm going to back this up. It's almost sort of like sewing when you get closer to the bottom. You have to use the paper, almost like a needle, to go through your little slots on your turtle base. Or your fish, or your butterfly, or whatever shape was that you did. Finish the green, so I have to flip it like a pancake. Stick down a blue. And when you get to your last row, it is going to be a lot tighter. So you might even have to pull it through a lot more like a sewing needle now on the other side, like that. And then keep tucking it in and out. So you don't have as much space in your loom anymore, your strings that you have on your turtle base. To move. There we go. Now I have all of these extras over here on the side and I want them to be short like these ones. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to snip straight. Straight little snip along the edges. There. And flip it over on the back. Snip. 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 Move those out of the way. And of course, we can't just leave them hanging there. It'll be all flappy and get caught on stuff. So I do a little bit of glue stick underneath each one. Just like that. Now we have the woven part done. I want to start decorating my turtle, so I'm going to get some construction paper crayons for that. My favorite thing about construction paper crayons is they show up on black paper, any construction paper really, but a black paper really, really well. So the first thing I'm going to do are add my turtle eyes. You can use whatever colors you want and you can kind of decorate however you want on your particular project. So let's speed up the rest of my decorating. If you wanted, you could even do some fun pattern, line patterns and stuff on your turtle weaving.
Great job on your weaving. You can go ahead and display those out in the hall or on your refrigerator at home. Have a great day.